In this video, we'll be answering the question, should you use ConvertKit as your email marketing software in 2024? There are a ton of email marketing softwares to choose from, and since ConvertKit is one of the most popular options out there, it begs the question, should you use it for your business? In this video, we'll cover the questions you need to ask yourself to see if ConvertKit is right for you and your business. So let's go ahead and get started with a brief walkthrough of ConvertKit. Now, if you wanna go ahead and get started with ConvertKit, we have an affiliate link down in the description, and getting signed up is super easy. All you have to do is click on the link and click get started for free. And after this quick verification process, you can go ahead and get signed up. So after you fill out the basic information, all you have to do here is it's going to ask you a couple questions and you can just go through this process. It just takes a couple minutes here. They're just going to ask you where are you joining from? And we're just going to say we're just starting out. How big is our audience? We'll just say one to a thousand. Business name. Go ahead and enter your business name in there. And here what you can do is you can choose your own custom domain. So convert kit creates its own domain and landing page for you. So you can go ahead and change this here to whatever you know works for you as long as it hasn't been taken already. And it's just going to ask what kind of creator are you? We'll go ahead and select YouTuber. What do you hope to achieve with ConvertKit? I will just select go ahead and grow my list. And here you can go ahead and link your website or any social media pages to get approved faster. And there you go. Getting set up with ConvertKit is super easy. And go ahead. If you want to get started, there is a link down in the description to get started today. So taking a look at ConvertKit, Kit here. ConvertKit is really made up of these tabs up here at the top. So if we go ahead and click on grow, there are four different options. So if we click on subscribers, this is where you can organize your subscribers with tags and segments, as well as import your current list. Now, also under that grow tab, we have the creator profile. So this really acts as your hub on the internet. It's a one-stop shop for your subscribers to find all of your content and your products. Under the landing pages and and forms option here. This is where you can gather subscribers with hosting a landing page or a form embedded on your website. And here under the recommendations, this is where you can join the creator network to cross promote your work with other creators and to grow your emails list together. Now taking a look at the options under the send tab, we have broadcast, email templates, sequence, and snippets. I think it makes the most sense to start with email templates. So here you can create email templates to match your branding and access a starting point for all your emails. At the broadcast templates, now this is where you can choose to send an email to some or all of your audience as well as to your public feed. Sequences, on the other hand, allow you to create multiple emails that are sent in a specific orders. Now it's using this sequence section with the automation sections that really unlock the power of email marketing. And lastly here under snippets, this is where you can create reusable blocks of content. For example, if you have a call to action that you use in all of your emails, you could create that as a snippet so you don't have to rewrite it or recreate it every time that you want to send an email. Next, let's take a look at the automation tab. So if we click on the visual automations, this is a tool that allows you to visually see how you're building out your automation. And this is what I was talking about earlier, where you can unlock the power of email marketing with sequences and automations. Next, we have the integrations tab. So ConvertKit also has a ton of integrations. So you can connect things like Shopify, Gumroad, Patreon, Zapier and more. Under the rules tab, this is where you can create a simple way to automate things using basic if then statements. For example, if someone signs up to a specific form, you could tag them with a specific tag that you have or create one on the fly. And lastly, under automate, we have RSS. So this is where you can seamlessly connect your blog feed to your email subscribers. Under the earn tab, we have products, tip jars, and payouts. Now under the products here, this is where ConvertKit allows you to create, manage, and sell your products. Tip jar acts as a virtual place for your audience to leave you a virtual tip and payouts is where you can see a breakdown of all the payouts you've received through ConvertKit. The last tab up here is the learning tab and under documentation here you can read the documentation for helpful articles and tutorials on how to best use ConvertKit and under community this brings you over to the ConvertKit forum where you can ask questions and give feedback on the forum there. And the ConvertKit Creator University, this is the Creator University where you can check out in-depth courses and trainings on really how to get the most out of ConvertKit. Next, let's talk a little bit about pricing. So ConvertKit has three different pricing plans to fit anyone and everyone's needs. They also have this little slider on their website that asks how many email subscribers you have so you can see how much ConvertKit is going to cost for you depending on the size of your audience. And what's really cool is that you can have up to 1,000 subscribers and still be on their free plan, which is pretty cool, especially if you're just getting started. It's also worth noting that you can get two months free when you prepay for an annual
annual plan versus going the monthly route. Now let's take a look at these three plans in depth. So I'll go ahead and move this slider back down to 300 as that is the lowest tier here. So on the free plan, you can have up to 1000 subscribers, unlimited landing pages, unlimited forms, unlimited broadcasts, audience tagging and segmentation, the ability to sell digital products and subscriptions, as well as community support. Now, if you ask me, this is a pretty stacked offer for free. So if you want to get started with ConvertKit and test it out, you can test out a lot of their features on their free plan. Now, moving over to the creator plan. So in their creator plan, you get everything that you get in the free plan, plus free recommendations, paid recommendations, free migration from another tool, automated email sequences. You get the visual automation builder that we looked at, third party integrations, and one additional team member. Now, I would say that the biggest upgrade here on the creator plan from the free plan is the fact that you can do automated email sequences. For most people looking to get started with email marketing, chances are that you want to create some sort of automated email sequence. Now, all this would be nice to have on the free plan, but most email marketing softwares require a paid subscription for this feature anyways, so that's pretty standard. And lastly, looking here at the Creator Pro plan. So the Creator Pro gets you everything from the Creator plan. In addition, you also get a newsletter referral system, subscriber scoring, and advanced reporting. Now, something that I noticed here in, if you scroll down on the pricing page from ConvertKit is it says, which plan should I choose? And it says our free plan is a great choice for creators who are just getting started with building an audience. It allows you to create landing pages, sell products, and send emails up to a thousand subscribers for free. Creator plan is perfect for creators who want to grow their business with our powerful automation features that allow them to spend less time on marketing and more on creating. Plan grows with you so your marketing work never gets interrupted. Creator Pro plan is best for creators who want to scale their business with advanced features like subscriber engagement and deliverability reporting, Facebook custom audiences, and access to Sparkloop for newsletter referrals. So I just thought that was a good little question there from ConvertKit. Now taking a look at a couple of people that use ConvertKit, there are some big names here like Cody Sanchez, Ali Abdal, Andrew Huberman, Tim Ferriss, Pat Flynn, Tim McGraw, and James Clear, just to name a few. So you're in pretty good company when you choose ConvertKit. So let's go back into ConvertKit and just walk through creating a sequence and a basic automation. So to create a sequence, that's what we need to do first. We'll come up here to the send tab and hit sequence and we'll go ahead and click new sequence. We'll choose this template that we have here, which is a text only template. And the first thing we're gonna do is start with a subject line. So for example purposes, we'll just call this email one and we'll put email one in the body there. We'll go ahead and hit publish. And we set this up to go out one day after somebody opts into a landing page, which I'll show you here in just a minute. Now it's worth noting that in the settings, I have this set up to not send emails on Saturday or Sunday. So that's why these are grayed out and I can't even select them because in my settings up over here, I have it selected so it won't go out over the weekends, which is something to keep in mind, especially if when you're trying to calculate or figure out your sequence and when you want emails to go out. So if you choose six days, for example, it's going to count only weekdays in, in that scenario. So let's go ahead and add another email to the sequence. We'll just call this email two and paste that in there and hit publish. So we have two emails here and what we're going to go ahead and do now that we've created our very basic sequence is we're going to create an automation so that this runs in the background and you don't have to do any work once you set this up. So we'll go ahead, come up here to automate and go to visual automations and we'll go ahead and click new automation and we'll go ahead and start from scratch with an empty automation and we'll go ahead and click start building. Now we'll select joins a form. So when a subscriber is added to any form or we could select a specific form, this is a landing page that I created earlier. We'll go ahead and select that. So when anyone gets added to that landing page and fills out that form, this sequence will go out. So we'll hit add event to select the sequence, press this little plus sign, select email sequence, and we'll go ahead and select sequence two. That's the one that we just created. Add action and it is good to go. So if we go ahead and hit live, now it's saying that because I have zero subscribers in this automation, it's not gonna work. But once you have subscribers in there, it'll go and run in the background and you don't have to do anything. So to wrap everything up, ConvertKit is a great tool. Whether you're just getting started with email marketing or you're a seasoned veteran, their free plan allows you to try most of their features and gets you up to 1000 subscribers for free for life, which is pretty awesome. But if you need to be able to create sequences and automations, then you're gonna need to upgrade to the creator plan, which starts at $9 per month billed annually. Lastly, for those looking to rapidly scale their email marketing, the creator pro plan will be the best for you and delivers all the same features in the creator plan plus more. Overall, ConvertKit is a very easy to use but advanced tool and one that I would recommend for all skill levels. Now, I hope you
you found this video helpful and if you got value out of this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on more videos just like this to help you start and grow your online business. Here on this channel, we make lots of videos on email marketing, how to start a business, productivity tools, and more so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.